Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial series. So, I'm going to share to you the C++ laboratory uh, applications that I have prepared. So right now, I have here uh, Lab 1 and then Lab 2. So you could follow along with the exercises that I will give to you. And then the application that we're going to use here is Kojo, the one that we're using in our laboratory. So for the first laboratory uh, exercises, I have here several uh, programs. In which case, I've demonstrated to you how it works and then show it in Canvas. Now, I'll be dividing this into several videos, hopefully hoping that you can try it out on your own. So the programs include the following. So we're going to have here the Hello World program as an introduction, looking at C and NC out examples, cascading, insertion, and extraction operators, multiple lines and single line comments, end line examples, set with, or set with function, uh, swapping two numbers using three variables or three variables and swapping two numbers with at least two variables here. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate it to you how it works. So hopefully uh, you'll be able to learn something from this video tutorial. So let's start from the first program. So in our first program, I'm going to demonstrate to you the um, basic structure of a C++ program. So let me minimize this. And then I have now on my screen the um, sandbox program or sandbox application. You could go to your canvas program and then um, go inside our canvas. Okay, so normally what we have are four columns here. So the fourth column is our instruction. So we don't need this right now. You could click here collapse so that uh, we could save some screen. So for the first column here, we have our explorer in which case we could uh, use or create our own um, codes or our own files here so take note that um, when we debug it please uh, and also for organizational purposes put it inside your codes folder okay so this area here is our uh, code editor so this is where we normally uh, type our codes and then later on this terminal this is our terminal i'm going to show to you how we compile our codes okay using uh, using code job. so the first part of our um, uh, example is that we look into the structure of a of a C++ program okay so every time that you start to create a program you must know how it works so technically a C++ program comprises of number one so the first one there should ask what we call or use or include standard library section okay so the standard library section allows us to call several libraries and then inside those libraries um, uh, we can invoke functions libraries includes uh, let's say sharp include and then isrim so isrim is a function or is a library that allows us to um, call several input output stream functions okay so this is the this is the library that we normally include inside our program so second is that there are also other libraries okay as we go along i'll explain it to you the second part of our program here is what we call the wait a while okay So this is what we call the main function section. So the main function section in our program is where we normally see int main. Okay. This is what you call the main function. Okay. So every time that we compile our code, our compiler looks for the main function and whatever inside our main function, we execute this. Okay. So the main function has two parts here. So the first one, this is the returning value, and then this is the name of the main function. So functions can be uh, identified by having the name here plus open and close parentheses. Then after that, the third section of our code is the main body itself, okay? So if you have to see here most of the commands, so this is the function, okay, function, body section okay so this is where we normally write our codes okay so take note that in a c++ program 
So you could include uh, a number of libraries. Uh, so this is the library section. Second is that we normally have the main function section and then we also have the main uh, or the body function section. Okay. So let me erase this one so that um, we're able to see how we implement. Okay, let's try to implement the famous Hello World program. Okay, so for those who have not tried this out, uh, okay, this is how you do it. So first thing that you have to do here is for us to again include our library section. So we just type here sharp include, okay, higher stream. So what does sharp include mean? So when you see here uh, sharp include, okay, when we see here sharp include, this is a specific preprocessor command that allows us to, um, how do you say this one? Uh, command that effectively copies and pastes the entire file into our program here, okay? So we, this is what you call a preprocessor and then iostream here is a file which holds several uh, standard input and output functions that we can use. So in order for us to use those functions such as see in or see out, we must be able to call them first, okay? So this is the standard library section. After that, you'll be seeing something like this. You seeing namespace, okay? std then semicolon uh, namespace is a prefix that is applied to all names in a certain set okay so if let's say you don't want to include this one every time that you write a code or a program here in c plus plus you must incorporate or use std colon colon so say for example you're going to have here c in or c out so you must have here std colon colon and then the c out function if in case you will not be using this but to standardize our code to simplify our coding preference or we can uh, do if you don't want to have this code added so you need to have this line of code in included in our program so after that next is our main uh, function itself so we call that as int main open and close curly brace okay so Again, uh, this is the main function. So every time that we compile it or we compile our codes, the compiler looks for the main function. Okay. As we go along in this tutorial series, I'll explain to you why we need to use main and so on. Okay. After that, so as practice, you type here return zero already. Return zero is the returning value of our program. Okay. So it tells the computer, the program to return a value to the function main so once we reach the function topic you'll be able to understand this but technically is that when we are finished executing this the return keyword tells that we will be returning the value of zero to our main function okay so that's that's how we could uh, simplify it okay so the next item is we're instructed to print out hello world so how do we print out hello world here so there are uh, a number of commands that you could use but technically the command that is used okay the command that is used for outputting characters to the screen is what you call the see out function okay so every time that you need to output something here so it allows us to output our text here so let's say output text to the screen so the command is simply used here see out followed by two uh, curly braces are uh, two less than symbols okay later i explained it to you and then after that the text that you like to display so hello world so the text here is hello world and it must be enclosed in double quotation so whatever items that are placed inside the double quotations will be printed out in our um in our uh it will be printed as a text and then after that, we can include here also the end line function. Okay. So the end line function here is added so that uh, we could um, end this particular line of code or line of text that we have. So take note in C++, um, most of the commands will be ending in semicolon. 
semicolon here is what you call a statement terminator but not all commands but technically there are um, a number of commands that do end in um, semicolon here okay so you have the codes already so what's next we need to compile it in order for us to compile you need to um, go to our terminal take note that our file is our file name here is sandbox.cpp as you can see here in our editor let me go back here sorry so as you can see hopefully you can see this one this is sandbox.cpp and this is saved inside the codes folder right so to do that to execute the program we need to type the following commands okay so let me go back here so this is now our terminal you click this one first thing is that we need to check our present working directory currently my present working directory is under home scojo and then workspace like i mentioned earlier our program code which is sandbox our first program is found inside or is located inside the codes folder right so i must instruct i must go inside the codes folder so let's just check whether a codes folder is existing uh, simply type here ls okay will it will list down the different directories and files under a the, the program the terminal here so we have here codes so this is a folder this is a file so let's go inside this folder by simply typing here cd space and then codes enter cd stands for change directory after we have changed the directory type here present working directory as you can see here we are now inside the codes folder so earlier we execute the present working directory which we are here right so if you want to go inside this particular folder which is code you must execute cd and then uh, cd and then the name of the folder currently we are here already okay so after that let's type here ls again to list what's the content of that particular folder press enter and then you have here sandbox so we're now ready to compile our code so to compile our code we just simply use here g plus plus okay and then the name of the file in which it contains our codes in this case sandbox.cpp and then after that we need to type here minus o and then our output file so our output file could be any file name that you like to assign to that particular code that we have so in this case we're going to use here let's say um sample okay sample here so sample is the file that we're going to use later to see the output of the codes that we have written inside the sandbox uh, that cpp file okay cpp stands for c plus plus that's the extension that we use in order for us to write c plus plus codes okay so after this one just press enter here so if there are problems or let's say bugs in your system you would be able to list down here but right now since we don't have any problem then um, it should display uh, no error here after that type ls again for us to see the listing so here since we already created a output file which is sample so this is a file which is the execut executable program for our sandbox program which contains the hello world then to execute it all you need to do is to type here period then forward slash and then the name of the output file in this case the name of the output file is sample just type here sample then press enter so we have here the output which is hello world okay so if you like to add additional codes into your program go back again to the editor okay and then let's add another item here see out programming is fun okay then end line then semicolon now let's go back to our editor now if you type here sample okay you don't see the output programming is fun so in c plus plus any changes in your code uh functions that you add to your existing codes must you must be able to compile it again so to do that you can use this command so in kojo since we're in the terminal use your app arrow keys to um, list down or go back to the previous commands that we have take note app arrow keys in your keyboard this is the file that we executed before or the command that we executed before just press enter here then there's no error 
and then all you need to do is to go up and execute it so this is the way on how we execute our file take note sample here is an output file okay so then press enter so you can see here so we already have uh, our output here which is hello world programming is fun okay so this is the output of the code that we have created in our uh, C++ program using Kojo. Okay, so I think that's it for this video tutorial. Um, in the next video, I'm going to explain to you the remaining programs here. Okay, so I hope you like the video and thank you for watching.